Hey, this is Skull Girdle, and welcome to Why Do We Love Goth Drama So Much? So I was reading some goth drama on maybe Facebook, probably. I got the link from somewhere else, but like that matters. Whatever. Whatever. So I'm reading through this drama, and it's like some memes or something that somebody made talking about these three big goth YouTube channels. I think it was just three. I'm not really sure. I didn't see it all. And how they're dumb. Because they say you don't have to listen to goth music to be goth. My personal stance, you need to listen to goth music and also support the goth subculture in some way to be goth. Online or offline doesn't really matter to me. It matters to some people, but not to me. Goth music being a musically based subculture. And to actually be goth, you have to support the subculture. Because there are lots of people who love goth music and don't support the subculture and are not goth. So whatever. Okay, so there you go. That's how I feel. So I see these posts, and I usually just make like the one post, or none at all, and for sure I'm going to make a post if somebody is shredding somebody who is a friend of mine. And as you guys know, I'm pretty damn friendly with Cemetery Confessions and Angela Benedict, Ligia Resurrected. Two of those channels get shredded frequently. Um, okay, all three of them get shredded pretty frequently. Whatever. But why is it that we just can't leave it be. Why can't we get in there, say our piece, and then come back and be like, okay, I'm done. I've said my thing. No, we gotta keep going back and checking. And then when somebody trolls us, we gotta answer to it. And we're like, you stupid, you stupid, you stupid, you're ugly, you're ugly, you're ugly. Meanwhile, somebody's on the side going, this is ableist, this is triggering. Okay, sometimes it really is. But. <laughs> It's just like watching it back and forth, and there's like hundreds of comments sometimes. I spent like half an hour reading this shit. I spent half an hour of my life reading this shit today. So why is it so addictive? I mean, for me personally, it's like, uh, what do you call it? Reality TV. It's goth reality TV, and I love reading it. <laughs> sometimes I'm just like, oh, Jesus, and I get off of there, but other days I'm in the mood, like today, and I was like, okay, I'm going to read this over coffee. I mean, I'm sitting at the table having breakfast with my friends, and I'm ignoring him to read this thread because, first, I'm an asshole and you shouldn't do that. And second, I can't stop because I'm like, huh, somebody's drama that's not mine is awesome. Oh. Goth reality TV. It's pretty hilarious. And it can be on YouTube, or it can be on Facebook, Instagram, Reddit. Yeah, that, I don't know any others. Snapchat? Is, do people still do that? I don't like Snapchat. Anyway. So, what do you guys think? Why do you think that people are just so into that drama? I get defending yourself. I get that. But why do people need to get in there and tell everyone else they're stupid? I don't get that either. It's just hilarious to me. While I'm sitting there and defending my friend and being like, Oh no, fuck you. I'm still kind of laughing at myself in the back of my head. So hey, thanks for watching. Until next time.